The PowerUp 2.0 takes your regular paper airplane and turns it into a powered plane that can fly for literally almost a minute. It's the perfect product for teachers who are looking for an engaging activity with their students or for any flight enthusiast over the age of eight. With it, you can learn the basics of aerodynamics through trial and error. Your first flights won't be perfect, but with the right tweaks, you can make this perform beautifully. The PowerUp 2.0 works with many paper airplanes. All you'll need to get started is an 8.5 by 11 or A4 sheet of paper, some tape, and some scissors. And don't worry if you don't know how to fold the paper airplane because we have plenty of tutorials, either on this channel or in our book. I'll even leave a card in the top right corner if you'd like to watch one now. Once you've finished folding your paper airplane, it's time to attach the module. Simply locate the clips on the bottom of the module and slide the nose of your plane into them. After accomplishing that, just grab a little bit of tape and tape the shaft of the module to the plane itself. This will hold it in place. Next, make sure the wings angle upward slightly. This is called giving it dihedral angle. You don't want them to be too steep, but a slight upward angle will help your plane fly in a stable manner. The 2.0's power pack uses three AA batteries. In order to charge your PowerUp 2.0, simply attach the front of the module to the section of the power pack marked with the word start. As you do that, your propeller will begin to spin. Listen to the sound of the propeller as its pitch increases. Once that pitch is no longer increasing in frequency, you know that your 2.0 is fully charged. Never charge your 2.0 for more than 20 seconds and be sure to throw immediately after charging before any of its power has dissipated. Between flights, you can charge your module back up, but never charge it for more than 20 seconds. Once you're done flying, simply press the front of your module to the portion of the power pack marked with the word stop. That will discharge the remaining energy in the capacitor and the propeller will stop spinning. Be sure to fly in an open field or another area without any trees or other obstacles and launch your plane into the wind. Also note that wind and humidity will negatively impact its performance, so be sure to fly on calm days. For your first flight, throw your paper airplane without charging the power up at all. This will help you identify key problems with the paper airplane itself. In this example, you can see that my paper airplane is diving into the ground and not gliding nicely. You'll often encounter this problem when you attach a power up module to it because that module is adding weight to the front of the plane and making it want to nose down. So in order to fix that, all we have to do is bend the back edges of the wings up slightly. This is called giving a plane up elevator and will help to address that nose down tendency of the plane. So let's see after making that change if we've improved at all. Okay, so you can see that our paper airplane is flying quite a bit better now. So we're ready to move to the next step where we're going to charge the power up 2.0 slightly before launching the plane. This will allow us to see how the behavior of the plane changes when the propeller's spinning and adding power. Okay, so as you saw, once I charged up the power up module slightly and threw my plane, it was wanting to turn to the left from my perspective. And that's not surprising at all. You see, as this propeller spins, it's providing thrust that propels the plane forward, of course, but it's also creating a force called torque steer that makes the plane want to rotate to the left. So in order to compensate for that, we need to provide right rudder. And that just means bending the back edge of our plane slightly to the right, and that's going to help fight that tendency to turn to the left. Now keep in mind, we do want a circular flight pattern. We want our plane to turn slightly because a circular flight pattern will keep our plane close to us rather than flying too far away. But currently my plane is doing that too much. It's turning too sharply and it's diving into the ground. So after making that adjustment, I did another test flight at partial power. And as you can see, our paper airplane is flying beautifully at this point, so we're ready to charge it all the way up and give it a full power launch. The PowerUp 2.0 clearly dramatically improves the performance of your paper airplane and offers an incredible platform for teaching the basics of aerodynamics through experimentation with powered flight. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.